Hey guys, welcome to another video. This is going to be part two to our button clicking simulator or touching, I don't know, button clicker simulator game. This tutorial, we're just going to be adding UI and such, like UI over the buttons, adding labels to tell us how much multiplier and stuff we have above our heads. Yeah, I guess we could do that too. I wasn't planning on that, but I just remembered that most games have that. So let's get started with our button UI. So we should do this inside of our button. In our button part, hit the plus and let's insert a billboard GUI. Let's just name this info. Now let's hit the plus on the billboard GUI and let's insert a text label. Now on our info, billboard UI go to the properties and go to studs offset and change the Y to like one or I'm gonna do two just so it's a bit over now as you can see when we zoom out it gets bigger and um unless you want that then don't follow along but I don't think this is that good of an idea to have but you can keep it because it's your game so to fix this go to size and you're gonna have to convert offset to scale so turn offset to zero and mess around with the scale until you get it about right I think I'm gonna do four and I think I like that for the scale and then do the same thing for the Y I'm gonna set the offset to zero and the scale to one seems about right now as you can see it doesn't get bigger but the text label inside of it does and it's a little bit wonky so go to the text label I'm going to rename this text label to, let's say, the cash required. So let's go to the size, let's go to the scale, or, and let's go to offset, set that to zero, and scale. You should just be able to change this all to one, and it'll fit perfectly. Now for the text to not scale like that, you just go ahead and tick on text scaled under the text property. As you can see, we've got ourselves a nice stiff text label. Go ahead and design this however you'd like. I'm just going to give it a nice font with a transparent background, a white text. Actually, since this is going to be cash, I'll make it a little bit more lightish green. And I'll give it a light UI stroke just to make it stand out from its surroundings. Now we can give it a placeholder text, which this is just what it's going to be while it's loading. So I'm just going to do loading because well the text is loading so instead of this info actually just being called info let's rename this to cash billboard I'm just gonna do cash BL for billboard and then we can duplicate this and then rename this to molt BL and then the text label to molt now go back to your multiplier billboard GUI. This might not be the best way to do it. You probably could just do it in one billboard GUI. But this is the way I'm accustomed to. So go to studs offset and increase this by, I usually double it or just increase it by a half. So let's do 3.5 actually. Now you can customize the text label. And the multiplier is usually red in these games. So I'm just going to make it red. I'm actually going to change up the studs offset. This is going to be 1.5 and this will be 3. So I think that's pretty nice. So now once again in a service skip service we're going to have to open that up and go into our button manager. I know this is still severely unorganized like we, sh we could make this a lot less lines and more efficient probably but we'll do the organizing in a future video. It'll be pretty quick so it wouldn't be too big of a deal to do later since we're just going to change a few aspects of this so we want to change the text of the billboard UI sorry about that I just paused for a second so here's our configuration let's go to our button to effects and let's just do button to or button to dot button dot cash bl or no cash bl oh button to 
oh yeah I forgot we did not add that to the button too so you might want to add this into button two. so just select both by hold, holding right or control while selecting it right click it and hit copy or press control C go on a button two, go on the button and paste that into there and as you can see we got ourselves loading now go to your button manager and we can do the effects for button two so let's do button two dot button dot cache bl dot text equals config or no cache bl dot cache dot text equals button one config or no button two config sorry my mind's a little mixed up dot cache or dot rec or what, what did I name it it was called price yes my bad dot value and then button or let's just we can duplicate this and just put it up here but I'm gonna I'll retype it so button one dot button dot cache bl dot cache dot text equals button one config dot price dot value which we could just actually use this instead button two price oh that's button two and then we can do the same thing over here button two dot price dot value and now let's do multiplier so button two dot button dot mult bl dot mult dot text equals button to mult multi to add dot value and then the same thing up here for the button one button one dot button dot cash bl dot cash or not dot not not cash dot multi bl dot mult dot text equals mm, button one dot multi or not dot button one multi to add dot value so this is just setting the cache bl which is inside of the button inside of the actual button number and then or the cache bl and then the cache text label that's in it and then the text of the cache or the text label to this now for the cache if you want you can do dot dot and then quotation marks and then a dollar symbol so dot dot is a continuation this just continues it so you can add on another value like a string so this is how you can add multiple values to a string and then you can copy this part and add it to the end of the multiplier and put an x so let's just quickly do that for both and now let's go ahead and give it a little try by hitting play let's let this load up so our text should update as soon as we join the game as you can see it's got our price 100 cash and our multiplier I'm going to change this to 5x multiplier and then I'm going to do the same thing up here and 30 cash needed you can change this text up how you want I'm just going to do this because I want the player to actually know what each thing means like thirty dollars do you get thirty dollars or do you need thirty dollars so as could be five x multiplier one hundred cash needed or two hundred cash needed and obviously once we get that amount of cash the button should be turning green so I'm going to change this text up actually a little bit I'm just going to change the x the stud offset to 2.5 make it a little bit closer because I feel like it'll look nicer closer than further away so there's not a huge gap now we can create actual UI for the player now there's two ways to do this the classic way which is having all of the stats above the player's head which is pretty much every button clicking simulator game or the regular simulator way which is having a text label on the screen and displaying it so on this video we can put it in the player's head a text label or a billboard UI with a text label in it displaying the player's cache and all of that stuff 
and we can do this all on the server so that means every other player is going to be able to actually see our stats above our head we'll just have to make it update for the server as well so inside we can do this either in our leader stats script or in our button manager script but we should definitely do some leader stats script because it's more organized and putting it in the button manager script because this is just like for buttons so let's just do this in here so let's start off by making our actual part so insert a part in the workspace now this is this is just gonna we don't really need this part we're just gonna work off of this part so we can actually see our billboard UI so hit the plus or actually if you would like you can copy over one of the billboard UIs from the actual button you can duplicate this and put this into the part as you can see it's just loading and you can just say well this is your billboard UI you want for your player but you might want to adjust it a little bit or keep it the same it's up to you but if you don't just want to directly copy it once again in the part hit the plus insert a billboard UI and then you insert a text label to it and you change the size from offset to scale on both the text label and the billboard UI so it doesn't stretch out and become huge like that and disrupt the user so we're just gonna keep it like this I'm just gonna name this cash AMT for amount cash and then this will be mult amount so we can grab both of these and put these in replicated storage in replicated storage let's quickly press the plus and insert a folder and name this overhead because if we're going to add more stuff like more multiplier types like prestiges and then all that stuff then we want to make sure it's a little bit more organized so let's just name this overhead and i apologize for the mistakes Oops, i just pressed the key i do not plan out my videos before i do them i just go in straight in ah, that didn't make sense but so before our game not player added function inside of our leader stats script let's make a variable for the overhead folder so local overhead equals game not replicate storage dot overhead which is gonna be lowercase now we can either get all of the contents of it or specifically do stuff for each part so let's instead of getting all the contents in the folder let's grab each specific overhead text or ui and let's edit them individually so let's do local cache amt equals overhead dot cache amount then local mult amt equals overhead dot mult amt so in our game not player added function we're just gonna do let's do this at the bottom Let's do game not player dot character added. Oh no, character. Well actually, let's do player dot character added connect function. Oops, connect player dot character added connect function. Sorry for that little typing mistake. We can do player because we already got player from our game not players added function. And now in here, let's pass char for character. So we can configure stuff with the player's character. Let's do local cache clone equals clone or cache AMT clone. And then local mult clone equals multi amount clone. So this is duplicating both of the overheads. And now we just want to parent it to the player's head. So let's do cache clone dot parent equals character dot head and then multi clone dot parent equals char dot head so this clones the tech the billboard uis and then puts it inside of the user's head because we want it to display off of the user's head before that though we want to set the information though now we can make this repeat if we want so let's real quickly Let's keep it parented into the player's head and then after that as soon as we do that we're going to set the data so we're going to do while task.await 
let's do 0 0.1 or actually we can change this up a bit we can do let's start off by doing cache clone dot cache dot text equals player and then we named it dot leader stats dot cache dot value mm, mult clone dot mult dot text equals player dot mult or multiplier dot value so pretty much we are getting the text of the cache instead of our billboard UI and setting it to the player's cache value and we can obviously continue this and add a dollar sign and for the multiplier continue this and add a X I just want to say the and symbol so we're setting the text to the player's leader stats and now we want to do a change function so we get when one of the values are changed so we're gonna do player dot leader stats dot cache dot changed connect function so when the player's cache value changes from let's say 1 to 2 or from 5 to 10 anytime the value changes it's going to set the text and then we can do the same thing for the rebirth you can just copy this or you can type out cash dot or cash clone dot cash dot text equals player dot leader stats dot cash dot value dot dot dollar and then cash but you can obviously change this up however you'd like now we're just going to do player dot multiplier dot value dot or not dot value dot changed connects function you don't need dot value when you're doing a change function since you just want to get when this is changed and then we can just copy this line put this in here multi clone dot mult dot text equal multiplier dot multiplier dot value dot dot x multiplier so now the player should have an overhead UI when they join into the game so let's just let this load up oh we seem to have a little problem the player does not seem to actually have anything going above their head and as you can see inside of the player's head there actually isn't anything inside of there so we can quickly add a little delay just for safety or because this while wait loop is constantly running and it's blocking that so let's just let's put that at the bottom and then let's add a quick task dot wait 0.1 up here so we can wait after the player's character is added it just might make it a bit safer and as you can see above our head we have one times multiplier and our cache is changing accordingly so let me quickly go onto the server let me change my cache as you can see other people would see this above my head they would see the multiplier and my cache so if we just go into my leader stats and let's just change this to 500 if I go back to the client oops that did not actually change cash dot value oh well not exactly what I was going for there we go so now as you can see I have a ton of cash also we might need to change this effect because this is happening actually on the server and we don't want the effect to happen for the server we want it to happen for the actual player that has enough cash for it so we will be fixing that but as you can see if we increase our multiplier it increases above our head so there we go we've got ourselves a 31 times multiplier and if anybody on the server like pretend this is a different person they walk up to me they can see I have a 31 times multiplier with 355 cash so that's ourselves a nice little overhead UI in the next video we'll be fixing up little bugs and problems we have in our scripts and we will make it neater and less messy so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video that's how you can add UI to your button clicking simulator game so yeah hopefully you enjoyed and see you